And welcome to the game show, guys. Woo! Yay! No one gives a fuck. Um, <laughs> so I've been I, I've been challenged to do the ice bucket thing, and I'm not doing that because I've already said it's dumb. So I'm not doing that. You're so, like a really small ice bucket. Yeah, this is this is the ice bucket. Uh, mm, mm. Sponsored by Acadia. Oh no! Oh no! It's all inside. <laughs> oh no! I'm going to do the piss bucket challenge later. Um, I'm going to pee in a bucket. So here's the deal. We're going to play ten rounds of the game show gauntlet, and whatever the winning score is at the end, I'm going to put a decimal point uh, in the middle, you know, like where the, you know, to make it like not thousands of dollars because uh, I'm poor. And I'm going to donate that to uh, uh, Doctors Without Borders because Ebola is happening and that is scary. Uh, so, yeah. yeah uh, cool. Apparently, it makes you shit out of your eyes. Yeah, like, your eyes fill with blood or something, I think. Your 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 shit fills with blood, and then it comes out of your eyes. I that saw is what I heard. Scary to me to do that. <laughs> that is terrifying. Secure. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so Slip let's... Backwards. I, in, in in order to give the most amount of money possible, I've invited the two smartest people I could find at such short notice, and <laughs> also Cat. Snap. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Cat. Hi, I have a contract with your fiance. That's why I have to be here. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> she gets to skip, and you have to do this. Um, yeah. So let's start with um, our blue player. Hey, Steve. Hey. This is Steve, long last name man. Colton Ba. It is not hard to say. Colton Ba. There you go. Three syllables, man. Colton Ba. Um, Isn't that a shot Skyrim? That sounds like something Boris had has. <laughs> Colton Ba. Hey, let me, let me give a, get a half a pound of the Colton Ba. Yeah. <laughs> Cajun. <laughs> Some low sodium Colton Ba, please. <laughs> Make sure you slice it really thin, though. <laughs> yeah. I want to be able you to see through it. You don't want. want I need it chipped. <laughs> um, uh, Steve, you are no stranger to game shows. You've been I on know. a couple small ones, I believe. Um, you've been on Who Wants to Be a um, what is it, a millionaire? I have, yeah. Uh, how much did you win there, and how much can I have? Uh. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is what I won. Suck a dick! Wow. <laughs> Fuck uh, pass. You, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think I gave about two hundred and thirty bucks the last time you were in the marathon. It's true, you did. Thank you. Yep. Um, How generous of you. Yeah, that well, all went. To, that you guys, all went to cocaine. you guys set the goal, and I just wanted to make sure you guys hit the goal. <laughs> Thank you. So with like five we, minutes left, I donated whatever was, whatever was left. It was for the kids. We literally kid. could not have done it without you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And I feel kind of bad because it was for Philadelphia kids, but I'm going to let it slide because they're sick. It's a worldwide organization. There's kids from Bosnia there. I want that embroidered on a pillow. I feel bad because they were Philadelphia kids, but they were sick. So what could you do? <laughs> Like, all over yeah, that's, 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 what can I say? I'm a Baltimore boy. <laughs> that's the in, that's the intake form for the fucking. So, uh, let's see. You have what? You have lupus. Oh, that's terrible. Do you like the Flyers? Yes. All right. Here you go. You can. Oh wait, Steelers fan. Now get you and your lupus. Screw ass that, here, Timmy. <laughs> Fuck you, Timmy. Steelers. A little more facts. Steve's chair is actually made out of Philadelphia kids. <laughs> I like um, how this is for charity, and you're talking shit on kids that are dying. It's like, mm, they're born in the wrong town. What they can they got, do? They got no born. Totally good. Hey, their parents um, knew what they were doing. <laughs> Hell is quick. It's, it's getting hot in here. I can see it. Um, you've also been on Jeopardy, which you uh, did not do so well. No, no. Well, you, I went up against have... a 19-time champion. But he didn't make it to 20 either, so... It's true. Yeah. So you you just took him down with you. Good job. Yep. yep. Uh, and I, then I, you I beat the Beast. I'm the Beast. 
<laughs> Killing thousands. Um, and then, yeah, you, you were on the chase with um, Jay Ree, who yep, Jay Ree was and Jay good at Ross. Jeopardy for a while. He did, and, yeah. Um, and uh, you beat the Beast. We did, yeah. We pretty much kicked the Beast's ass. It was like, yeah. we got 20, and I don't think he made it to like 14, 15. No, no, no. And uh, and so now you're here. Uh, what do you attribute to your downfall? Um, <laughs> uh, I think it's my uh, my extremely losing personality. Yeah, and is it the fact that you look like you just got off of chat roulette in more ways than one? <laughs> it's the beard, isn't it? <laughs> it it's it's a little, it's the beard. It's the open closet door. The open closet it's makes the... you look serious. <laughs> oh yeah. It's... Most of that stuff isn't even mine. Uh, oh. Sister, yeah. oh! No, not like that. My sister and her family are staying with me right now. Oh, thank you for not spending time with them. We appreciate it. They're in um, Delaware, so I oh. get the night for free. Yikes, so back to chat roulette after this. <laughs> Good. Well, thank you, Steve, for joining us. Uh, please don't show your penis. And <laughs> our red players is A, hey, Cribs! Hey, speaking hey. of penis... Yeah, hey. What's so, up? That's the first thing you said on a date. You get a penis, my name is Chris. And I said, hi. That's the third thing I said. <laughs> the first thing he said is, would you like to see this? <laughs> the second thing was, who's paying for the sandwich? <laughs> third. <laughs> third, my name is Chris. Yeah. Um, so, Chris, how much did you win on Millionaire? Who gives a fuck? You know, honestly, <laughs> at the end of the day... End of the day, it's all numbers, you know. It's all money. <laughs> Money's not important, you know. What's important is life and love, and you know. And, all right, and what? you went on. <laughs> I just love. I just love rubbing your nose in things, but I know. It's all for a good time. <laughs> this is your chance to just be like, look, you should put me on another game show. Look how smart I am. <laughs> look at all these things I know. You don't have to edit out the penis thing. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Keep that in. Keep that. In. <laughs> That'll Chris. be my intro. Hey, Chris. True story, man. You got a totally raw deal when it came to the chase. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, fuck, fuck those fucking jerk offs. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate uh... it. I have a really quick, super, super quick story about the chase. Go, go ahead. for it. Okay, I was really pissed wait, off. Wait, wait, hold on one second. Hold on one second. I huh? get to tell him to go ahead, motherfucker. This is my show. <laughs> You don't tell right, me to right. head. Right. I'm going to mute you like they do on fucking Around the Horn. Bing, mute. <laughs> Chris, go on. All right. So so that night, right, I was really pissed off that we lost. Like, really fucking pissed off. So for the plane ride home, I ordered two hamburgers for room service because they were these, like, enormous. The fucking hamburgers at, the, at this hotel were, like, this big, not including wow. the bun. Damn. So I got, wow. Well, I got two because it was like a nine-hour ride because I had a stopover on the way home. Uh, right. And it was the most comfortable fucking plane ride ever because I had like season six of fucking hamburgers and like the bag was full of fries, like all the empty space. Nice. So, <laughs> I'm going to, so I'm going to Stop and Shop a couple days later back in Connecticut and I get a text yeah. from a 917 number, you know, whatever whatever Los Angeles is, and it's the travel guy. And the, and the only text I got was, what did you order? <laughs> <laughs> and then I just got dinner for the plane. And then, okay, because you charge us seventy six dollars for two hamburgers. Wow, those are some so expensive really, ass hamburgers. I'm telling you. So whenever I tell people I lost on the chase, I I, I also I won seventy six dollars worth of hamburgers. <laughs> you That's took fantastic. The hamburger. That's probably why I haven't gotten a rematch yet. I'm just too much of a liability for room service. <laughs> We 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 really want Chris for all these shows, but if we extrapolate this, he's gonna charge us eighty five thousand dollars in room. <laughs> he just we inhales just too much meat. <laughs> That's what she said. All right. Yeah. Is it? So, uh, we gotta figure out who goes first. Steve, when you're ready, shout stop. Uh, stop. Stop it, AC. I did it. You did it. <laughs> Cribs, you have to land on a cribs in order to uh, go to a tiebreaker. Right. Cool. Do you want to do it? Stop. 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 Stop.
Got my A-Cribs! Hey. Right, tiebreaker time. So whoever this lands on will go first, and we'll get a $100 bonus, or $200 bonus. I'm looking over here. I'm not looking. I can't see anything. Big bucks, no whammies. Stop! Aww. Yeah! Yeah, motherfucker! Cribs, 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 Cribs. you're going first. Let's see what you're playing. Uh, hey, Cribs. Oh, I like the music. Thank you. Keep the music going. Oh, okay. Oh, is right. that been I? Do you want to play this or do you want to challenge, uh, Steve? Uh, let's play. Okay. I'll explain challenges later. Uh, okay. So Reddit. We're all familiar with Reddit. It's an amazing place where anyone with any interest, fascination, or fetish can talk with at least one other person about whatever you freaks talk about on the internet uh, in little divisions called subreddits. So with that in mind, uh, which of the following subreddits isn't real? Is it R Window Shots, a place where people take pictures of the view outside their nearest window? Is it B... Airhorn Remixes, a subreddit where popular songs get remixed with loud air horns? Or is it C, R Mr. Belvedere, a forum for fans of the 1980s sitcom Mr. Belvedere, complete with fan art and book club style watching threads? Oh man, I want to look at all these, so I'm hoping they're all real. <laughs> I think the first one is. I think I've been there, and it's really interesting because there's people from like all over the world, so you get to see like what the world looks like. I feel like they're all real, that's the problem. Good, I've done my job. <laughs> um, Thank you, Kat. No problem, man. I don't know, how far can you travel with air horn remakes? Pretty, pretty fucking far. Yeah, but not as far as Mr. Belvedere. Mr. The Mr. Belvedere one sounds just, like, quirky enough that it could be a thing. It sounds like the internet, in general. Yeah. But then, and so it, does air horn remakes. If I remember correctly, too, they have a really, like, rabid fan base. I think there was even an SNL sketch about, like, a Mr. Belvedere fan club. If you're wrong, I'll just break the countdown to you, Pop. Alright, air horn remix. Alright, you're saying that the correct answer is B, <gasps> air horn remixes. Name. The correct answer is... Oh, dear. Our Mr. Belvedere. No, don't. Please don't. Wow. Don't. I'll tell you what, though. I thought it was air horn remixes, too. So, I was right there with you. How is that? If I... That must be the most boring cookie subreddit ever. Seriously. <laughs> it's like, hey, you want to listen to a crap ton of air horns? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Make... <laughs> Him it, Corey. It sounds like a machine that matches clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I got a feeling. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, that's a thing that exists. So no, Mr. Belvedere is not. Uh, does not exist as of the time of writing. It could exist now, but I don't think it does. So, uh, no points there for Cribs. Sorry, Cribs. I found a new water bottle. Hey, Steve! All right. Oh, it's time to play Tic Tac Doe. All right. Yep, I, because I I wanted the I wanted two titans of thirsty of trivia to come up, and you're playing Tic Tac Fucking Doe. <laughs> All right. Here we yep. go. We're gonna hit that button sure? there. All right. Uh, we've got numbers <laughs> here from one to nine. Oh, Lord have mercy! What are you two doing? Oh, it's a new oh, water bottle I got. Oh, it's lo oh, it's a countdown teapot. Of nice. course it is. <laughs> don't don't drink water out. Don't shotgun water oh, out. Of it. you shotgun water out of the fucking teapot. <laughs> well, yes, Steve. Numbers from one to nine. Pick one. Let's go deuce two. Three hundred dollars. You need to get to a thousand dollars. Or find Tick and Tack. Find Tick and Tack, you automatically get the dough. If you find the dragon, however, the whole thing's over, and I have saved money from donating to charity. So, win-win. Uh, seven, please. Seven. 
$500. You're up to $800. You can stop at any time if you have a fear of the dragon. Oh, no, I've got fear of nothing. Uh, number oh. six, please. That's, oh, that's a total lie, by the way. I'm, I'm afraid of a lot of things. But... There's Tick. What are you yeah. afraid of, Steve? Uh, let's see. I'm afraid of long walks on the beach. Um, <laughs> fellow Scorpios. Okay, Scorpion. Uh, very scary. No, 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 not Scorpions. Fellow Scorpios. We call them Scorpions. Um, um, in, I'm afraid of thunder, the... but not lightning. Not lightning. Lightning's okay. Lightning is okay. Thunder scares the crap out of me, though. Thunder is okay. scary. I'm with that. Uh, let's okay. go with number four, please. Four. Hundred dollars. Oh, come on! Ever closer. <laughs> uh, number nine. Number Season nine. Number nine. Number nine. Two fifty. You've done it. Hey. So you've currently banked. Uh, $1,150, which means that if you win, that's currently $11.50 into the donation bin. Yay. All right. Cribs, game number two. All right. Oh, round number two. Yep, let's not play any of the trivia games today. (laughs) Uh, I promise you none of the balls have $600,000 in them. Oh, thank you. What a guy. Did you want to play this or challenge? I asked too late. Uh, I'll play. Yeah, you have no choice. Yeah. Um, all right. In each of these balls, there's dollar amounts from uh, $10 to $400. There's also three killers. Uh, I'll ask you to pick numbers. The first ball that you pick, will bin it. We'll throw it away. The second ball, you win it. You win five balls. Whatever's there is what you win. Uh, if you find a killer, if you win a killer ball, we decrease your current total by... 90%. So if you have $100, it's 10. 10 to 1, 1 to a dime, a dime to a penny. Uh, pick your first ball to bin. Uh, let's bin number 10. Number 10. There goes that killer. Dunzo. Good job. All right. Uh, let's win number 2. Win number 2? $10. That's money. Let's do... Money. Uh, let's, let's bin number 5. Bin number 5, you're binning $100. All right. We'll win number uh, 8. Number eight, you're winning three hundred dollars. Well done. Okay. Uh, let's bid number four. <clears throat> number four is binned another killer. Yeah. Fantastic. One um, killer left on the board. Let's win number three. Number three. Fifty dollars. All right, go win that killer. Or uh, bin that killer. Don't win the killer. Well, I don't. Yeah. Win. Let's bid number seven. Bidding number seven. There's the third killer. It's all money from here. Awesome. Uh, let's win number one. Winning number one. There's four hundred dollars. I have never done this. Well, I don't know. I, I wish I had a secret. I don't know what I'm doing. It's 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 blind ass luck. Yeah. Let's bid number six. Bidding number six. Twenty dollars gone. And Your let's top win prize number nine. At- yeah, at this point, your top prize is $860. Let's see if you can get that. Number nine? Yep. Oh. 810. What was the number 11? There's a two. Uh, Not too shabby, though. 810. You should be. You're at $1,010. All right. Who would have thought I'd come back with, with fucking Golden Ball? Yeah, don't figure. Your balls are just amazing. Ah, oh, fuck. Thank you. Body language? Yep. Oi, Gavalt. Oi, Gavalt. Shut up. Um, what? I'll not have that... To, I will not have that nonsense talk here. All right. Um, let's figure this out the way that we always do. Whoop. There we go. Cool. Would you like to play or challenge, by the way? I should ask that. I suppose I'll play. Okay. Okay. So, you're going to have 60 seconds to figure out what I'm miming to you in this tiny little window. There's no <laughs> way to uh, increase that, is it? Uh, I Yes, no, there is, actually. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Is that better? Is that better? Do you like it? Yes, I like it very much. Excellent. There you go. I'm right here. Yay. All right. All right, 60 seconds. I'm going to do my best. Um, sorry in advance. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Time starts now. Football. Throwing a, qu- a quarterback, yeah. Eyebrows. 
face, Vogue. Uh, face, head, neck. Yes. Okay. Glasses, blindness, can't see. Sunglasses, I guess. No, I'm gonna pass mosquito there. Pinch, bite. Yes. Yeah. Oh, zombie! Oh, Frankenstein! Frankenstein's monster. Yes. I can't do stairs. I don't have any. A dog panting. Yes. I can't. I don't know how to do strain either. Okay. Right. Milking a cow? Oh no! Pass on that. I pass on that. Oh, pass on swordfish. Oh shit! Beating, mixing, eating, see cooking. Ah, I got nothing. Yeah, that. Whatever idiot came up with that? It's pizza. Wow. Yeah. Pizza. No chance. <laughs> yeah. Let's put everything back from whence it came. Is that? No. Well, good enough. Whatever. Um. So there we go. Pizza. Um, you got six right for a total of six hundred more dollars. All right. Yay! Well done. Uh, I'm gonna just move this. Ah! I can't tell if everything's on screen or not. I've ruined it. I've ruined everything. Remember, kids, when you're adjusting video settings, always click save. <laughs> also, everything is backwards. Yes, it is. Okay. Cool. Cribs, it's your turn. All right. I think I got everything. I could probably make me smaller. Carmen San Diego. Well, you know. Carmen San Diego, would you like to play or challenge? Yeah, you know what? I've never played this one out here before. Let's do it. Really? Yeah. Aw, okay. oh, I wanted this. <laughs> well, Chris. Carmen San Diego has gone to uh, Missouri and stolen common decency among police. Your <laughs> job is to find it again. <laughs> is okay. that too soon? No, I don't think so. It's only being live streamed as we speak. <laughs> well, and that's why no one's watching this. Um, good, civics. All right, so what you need to do is find the loot, the warrant, and the crook in that order in 30 seconds. I apologize that some of these are blurry. Uh, that thing in the bottom right is New Zealand. Bottom left, New Zealand. Okay. But I think you can figure everything else out. You have 30 seconds to do so, and time starts with your first selection. Go. Monaco. No. Brazil. There's nothing there. Egypt. Uh, just a pyramid. Japan. <laughs> hey. Uh, Honduras. Uh, no. Taiwan. Uh, built somewhere else. United Kingdom. Jolly no. Laos. Oh, she, she, she. Uh, Fiji. Uh, I don't have. I don't know what that is. Uh, Peru. Uh, no. Canada. Uh, no. Oh. Where is where is everything? You uh, Antigua. There's the okay. Uh, New Zealand. Uh, oh. So, no money there, my friend. No money there. But you uh you stay at ten ten. I now see what I was missing. Yes. Steve, chance to uh, make your lead larger. Oh, I was just watching this today. Oh, good. So you know how this works. Let me rephrase that. I was watching the 8 out of 10 cats does countdown today. Uh, same idea. Less dick jokes. Or more dick jokes. Take your <laughs> pick. Uh, do you have a pen and paper handy? Yes, and yes, actually. Excellent. Fantastic. You will... It would help if you had that. All right, I'm going to show you nine letters, and you just have to form the longest possible word. If you find uh, the nine-letter word, if you find the, the, the nine-letter word, I said that already, uh, you'll get $1,000. Are you ready for your word, Steve? Yes, I am. Okay, here are your letters. I, B, A, N, G, V, E, A, L. The words are I bang veal. <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. Time starts now. All 
our dearly deceased Bob Haig, who is not joining us tonight, he's not dead, but he's just not here, actually got a signed autograph numbers game solution by Rachel Riley sent to him from friends of the show. I've never wanted to kill him more. <laughs> uh, Steve, pen, pen's down. Time is up. What's the What's the length of your longest word? I could not find the nine, so I've got to go with a six. All right, what's your six? It is glaive. G-L-A-I-V-E. Glaive. I'm going to have to check the dictionary for that. It's a large medieval weapon. The staff of the You're a large nine. medieval weapon. I am a large medieval weapon. Thank you. Glaive. G-L-A-I-V-E. And fine, you can have it. Boo! Good word. Um, the the nine letter word we were looking for is navigable. 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 Oh. Wow. Yeah, that wasn't happening. Stupid and I and a, a right there. As a former sailor in the navy, I would like to note something very important. Uh, yes. In my eight years in the United States Navy, I never once actually stepped foot on a ship. Why are you a waste of my taxpayer dollars? <laughs> now, hold on. I spent my time in an office doing very important things. I pushed uh, a lot of paper. And I listened to a lot shit. of stuff. I want you to... Can you tell us what number stations are? Do they really hold secrets? Possibly. Or if you tell us, do you have to kill us? It's actually worse than that. Ooh. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. And then I have to kill Chris and Cat, and then I have to go fill out the fill out forms and triplicate. It Wait, we just got a message. What's going on? Forms and triplicate. Ah! I know. The murder is the easy part. The paperwork is the bitch. Isn't that the truth, Cribs? It's more than password. It's password plus. Would you like to play okay. this game of more than password, or would then you, you like to challenge Steve? Head. I would like to challenge Steve. Oh. You would like right. to challenge Steve. All right. It is a duel. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't plan this any better. No, you can't. Can Alrighty, so let's play the chase. Alright, Steve. Yes, sir. Uh, you have been challenged, so you're going to set the score. Uh, I'm going to give you a minute to answer as many quick fire trivia questions as you can. Uh, right. Chris will then have to beat your score uh, in order to win the $1,000 in the bank. Okay. Now, whoever wins gets that $1,000. Whoever loses, loses $1,000. So this is a pretty big swing. Oh, man. All right. So, Steve, are you ready? I am. Are you familiar with this game? Vague. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, then, the chase is on. One minute on the clock. You get a one-step head start because you're, you're just you. Uh, time starts now. What is the name of the presenter slash food eater in the TV series Man vs. Food? Adam Richman. Correct. Which is the only U.S. state to begin with the letter U? Utah. Correct. A decade is a period of how many Ten. years? Correct. What is the official fruit of the state of New York? Apple. Correct. Which Beatles album won an Album of the Year Grammy in 1968? Help. No, it's Sgt. Pepper's. Isabella Swan is the lead in which series of vampire books? Twilight. Correct. What is sodium bicarbonate known as in the kitchen? Baking soda. Correct. Which S is a deadly sin and a tree-dwelling animal? Cloth. Correct. The four triangles on the BMW logo are white and what other color? Blue. Correct. Which golfer won the 1997 U.S. Masters? Tiger Woods. Correct. The city of Shiraz is in which Asian country? Uh, Iran. Correct. Which four-letter word beginning with D is mean, means to move rapidly and is a punctuation Dash. mark? Correct. Right at the buzzer. Hi, Cribs. Hey. <laughs> uh, that's the best performance we've ever had 
in the cat in the uh, in the final chase here. I may um, have shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve correct answers in sixty seconds. Well done, sir. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Excellent. Cri- Cribs, it's your turn. You are the beast. What's the fucking point? All right, let's go. <laughs> Come on, man. You can do it. Hey, hey, hey th- this is your this channel. I'll never leave my fucking life. You know that, right? <laughs> do I count as help? What? So do I even count as help? I'm not really adding anything to this. <laughs> if you want. If I yell out a thing, is that going to be bad? Uh, probably, yes. All right. I'm just going to walk away now. This is getting very... Oh, wait, just for this one. Just for this, this one. This is sweaty now and boring. <laughs> Not allowed to play. I just have to All right. in front of the light. Chris, you... here's how this works. I'm going to ask you a question. If you get it right, you move one step closer to Steve's score. If you get a question wrong, we stop the clock, and Steve gets a chance to push you back. Uh, Twelve in a minute wins you the $1,000. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All righty. Uh... The final chase is on. 60 seconds on the clock. Time starts now. The Picture of Who is a novel by Oscar Wilde. Dorian Gray. Correct. Which element has the atomic number six? Uh, Hydrogen. Stop the clock. That is incorrect. Steve, chance to push Christian back. Is that fluorine? Uh, no. Actually, it's carbon. Oh, carbon. Man. Atomic number of six. 51 seconds on the clock. 11 steps to go. Time starts again. Cribs. Now, how many square blocks is in each game piece composed of in Tetris? Uh, four. Correct. Who wrote the 1869 novel War and Peace? Uh, Tolstoy. Correct. In 2002, Steve Fawcett became the first solo person to circumnavigate the world nonstop and single-handed in what? Uh, Hot air balloon. Correct. Which part of the body do butterflies taste with? I'm sorry. Their feet. Correct. Bull (laughs) weevils cause damage to which crop? Cotton. Correct. Which four-letter word is the second letter of the Greek alphabet? Uh, Beta. Correct. In the game of chess, N passant involves which chess pieces? Uh, the king and the knight. No, the king and the... Fuck! Fuck! But no, tell me how you really feel. Steve. <laughs> For a pushback, in the game of chess, en passant involves which chess pieces? Uh, en passant is when one pawn passes another and still captures it. So pawns. Is... Oh, I'm thinking That's of something else. That's right. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, thinking of something castling. else. I'm thinking of castling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Ten seconds left. Six to catch. I like your odds. Time starts again. (laughs) Eat, and die. Uh, Time starts again. Now. In the Bible, what sign did God give Noah that the earth would not be flooded again? A rainbow. Correct. SN is the symbol for which chemical element? Correct. Nicole Polizzi appeared on which... Cookie. Cookie short. Time's up. Steve wins. Steve Sorry, wins. Good game. That, that was, was fun. Good. Hey, you too. That was, that was fun. That was a good match all around. You're both yeah. brilliant. You're both going to prom. Um, <laughs> but Steve... Oh, Cribs. Oh. That is two yeah. false subs at Subway. I am very happy. <laughs> if Cribs, if you win somehow, I only have to donate a dime. Go, Cribs! <laughs> <laughs> Not that I don't want to donate money, but I'm broke. <laughs> Sally Mae got my ass. Steve, it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Who wants to be a billionaire? Sorry, bro. <laughs> and now, fresh from his appearance in Prune Danish, Jackie Mason. Fuck you. All right. <laughs> uh, Steve, do you want to play your challenge? I suppose I should play. Okay. Okay, Steve, put the following state capitals in order, starting in the west and going east. Jefferson City, Oklahoma City, Salt Lake City, Carson City. That's D-C-B-A. Know your geography, huh? I hope so. I hope so, too. I guess. I don't know. Um, 
I'm not really I'm not really here. I'm watching The Simpsons. Um, okay, good. Uh, let's see if you if we're gonna flip them around. If you see four three two one, you are a winner. Flip them. Four three two one. You've got it. Woo. Carson City, Nevada. Salt Lake City, Utah. Oklahoma City, Texas, and Jefferson City, Missouri. So well done, the both of you. Cribs, you're muted. Why are you muted? Are oh, you okay? here I am. Do you have to poop? Are you okay? <laughs> oh no, I am fine. I am fine. Okay. Are you? He is are you Is your constitution uh, proper? Is your? Are you all right? In the, the last check, the... yeah. No, I think we're we are just do fine. You, do you need Activia? I always need Activia. <laughs> Okay. Good. I'm sorry for the one person watching this. I apologize. <laughs> oh, it's time to play Pass the Buck! Oh, okay, alright. You like Pass the Buck. I love this game. You love Pass the Buck. So I... Well, you don't have a challenge anymore. You used up your only challenge. Yeah, let's do so, it. Let's do it. 15 seconds, get all four right, and you win $1,000. Are you ready, Cribs? I am ready. I need you to name four astronauts. When I say okay. go. Gotcha. Four astronauts. When I say go. Time starts. Go. Neil Armstrong. John Glenn. Buzz Aldrin. Frank Borman. Uh, Alan Shepard. Yuri Gagarin. There it is. That's how you do it. Bam. Frank Gorman. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well done, sir. You're Thank back you. to 10-10. 220. Hey, we're halfway through the game, actually, and once Steve is done, because Steve is the second player, not the first. Cool. Just kidding. Steve! Hi, Roller! All right. All righty. Uh, I will be pulling up random.org because I'm not wearing pants and the dice are over there. <laughs> In true Alex Trebek fashion. This is true. I can, grab my, I can grab my dice if you want. I don't trust your dice. That's probably smart. You, you shady, you shady Marylanders. Always, I, always well, pulling the over from, eyes. I did just come back from Vegas. It's true. So now no. you're all, you're all ready for more gambling. Now, to be fair, I did lose a hundred bucks at craps. Oh, perfect. So dice games really up your alley then. Perfect. Yeah, like the opposite of that. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't. How do I don't understand how craps work? Me neither. I know how. I know, how I know I'm bad at it. Okay. I know you get a seven unless you get a two. If you get a two and then you get a seven, you're fucked. Unless you get an eleven, I feel like I'm playing million second quiz. All <laughs> right. Uh, Steve, here's how this works. I'm going to roll two dice and I will show them to the screen, kind of like this. There you go. You can, ooh, that looks funky. That does look cool. funky. So I've rolled a six already, but that won't count. You'll have to knock whatever number rolls up off the board. So if you roll an 11, you can get rid of the eight and the three, or the nine, the two, and the one, or the seven, and the five, a four. You know, math. Yep. As an Asian, I'm not good at math. So here's your first roll. Oh, and if you roll doubles, you get an insurance marker, which protects you against a bad roll. Once you cannot make... Once you cannot eliminate any more numbers on the board, the game's over. You get $100 for every number you knock off. If you knock off all nine, you win $1,000. Your first roll... Is a seven. Seven is four and a three. Um, four yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, here is your next roll. Hey, you roll doubles, and it's a two. Uh, let's drop the deuce. Ha! <laughs> Talk about craps. Uh, your next roll is a six and a one. That's a seven. Uh, let's take the seven. All right, seven is gone. Next roll. It's a four and a five. That brings it to nine. The nine is gone. The nine is gone. Uh, your good rolls are five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have my insurance, 11, just in case. Twelve, and you have an insurance. Yes. Uh, I, Trebek knows this better than I do, because he's smart. Five and four is nine. So the five's got to go. Right? Five and four, so you have a uh, nine. Can't get rid of anything else, then. You can get rid of the eight and the one. Ah, oh, the eight and the one, thank you. There you go. Come on, let's I see that 11. All right, you need a that five. Hard. You need an 11, basically, or a five and then a six. You have one insurance marker. 
Hey, look at that. It's a four and a two. That's a six. That is a six. You'd think between an Asian guy and a Jewish guy would be better at math, but man. (laughs) No! (laughs) The Puerto Rican's laughing at us. We would just be throwing dominoes. (laughs) (laughs) Without any rhyme or reason, you're just throwing them at us. (laughs) 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 It's the sound of my mom's house at like any summer night. You just hear. Coming out of a garage with a dimly lit lamp, people playing dominoes and hearing <laughs> in the distance. It's fantastic. Uh, your next roll is a six and a three. They gotta a, take off the insurance. Yep, yeah, we're gonna remove the insurance marker, so if this is a five, you win. It's a one and a five. Oh. But you knocked off eight numbers, which means you bank eight hundred dollars. All right. You're at fifty dollars and fifty cents to Doctors Without Borders. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you should have called someone else. God. Okay. Cribs. All right. All right. So, uh, Steve, we have to play for cribs. Oh hell yeah. So, and you're not allowed to sabotage him. Of course not. Say that now. Hey, right. it's for charity. Uh, yes, it's for charity. So, Crib, uh, close your eyes. Okay. Uh, yeah, all right. Here. All right. Uh, Steve, you know how this works. Um, yeah. We're going to form sentences one at a time. Once we're done, I hit this button, and then Cribs can answer. If he's right, he gets uh, $100. If he's wrong, we move on to the next word. Five right gets him a thousand dollars. I have gas. Um, do you want to go first or second, Steve? Uh, I'll go first. Okie dokes. Um, sixty seconds on the clock, plus or minus a couple seconds for lag. Uh, time starts now. What do you put on your eyes during the? Bright sun. Now nah, it's part of the word, bro. Can't say that. Uh, wa- uh, what animal is large and gray? An elephant. Correct. What do you use to cut paper? Scissors. Correct. What do you do when a ah pass yeah uh what twinkles a star yes what do you ah damn it oh. i'm sorry that one we passed was really crazy hard oh that's yeah. okay the lag is crazy it's like playing go on al jazeera <laughs> Next up on Al Jazeera Television, go. <laughs> we, we pulled the pin on the grenade, and then you go. Um, no, yeah, we 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 passed on. Um, you point at it. Yeah, that was uh, the answer. You point at I w- it. Yeah, I I was hopefully oh, okay. I was hopefully gonna get to uh, what do you do to someone who's acting ratchet. Uh, <laughs> And you hope that Chris wouldn't say World Star Hip Hop. <laughs> exactly what I was going to say. You taped them for World Star. We're in America, Corey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Three, right? Thirteen hundred in the ba- uh, Three hundred in the bank. You're at thirteen ten. Four rounds to go. Hey, Steve. I can only hope that for the next round, something just knocks Steve unconscious. That's the only way I can catch up. <laughs> uh, it's a possibility. Very real possibility. Uh, Thank you for wishing massive head trauma upon me, Chris. No, not necessarily your head. <laughs> Chest? Something just, just yeah, you, you know. know a, a cannon ball should just come in and just... <laughs> implode your chest cavity, you would be uh, unconscious, probably. But no <laughs> so now, to all... be fair, to be fair, there is a cat somewhere in this house. So Ooh. anything is possible. It's true. 
cats are devious. They All right, are. Steve, uh, your Jeopardy category no. is solve for X. Solve for X. So here's Math is hard. Math is hard, and I don't like it. Actually, I'm just going to keep that on the game there. Um, uh-oh, uh, Chris died. Um, so here's six, here's five clues. You're going to pick one of the clues, uh, and then if you answer in the form of a question correctly, you'll bank that money. If you get it wrong, you don't lose that money, because I never bothered to program that in. Uh, so, remember, you only get one clue. Select the clue. Come on, man. We're going, we're going big. Oh, he's going big. All right, true daily double, but not really. Uh, $1,000 clue. Answer is, there are X amendments to the United States Constitution. What is 27? The correct answer is 27. Well done. Oof. Well done, sir. Well done. You get $1,000 in the bank. So you're at... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Box 23 is still in play. <laughs> Some would say we'd be victory at this point. (laughs) (laughs) Cribs, it's the price is right. Okay, let's play. I like how we're you guys are just playing the shows you've been on. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's it's it. I'm amazed. Anyway, Cribs, come on, hot dog (laughs) toaster. It's I'm sorry, it's only a brand new car. Oh, tough break, dude. It's a 2014 Tesla Model S with 85 kilowatt battery, fog lamps, 19 inch Michelin tires, parcel shelves, and dual battery chargers. (laughs) It's the Tesla Model S. Is that all? I realize the irony in playing gas money for an electric vehicle. (laughs) Um, But yet here we are. So, Chris. Thank you for putting a car that people of my color aren't even allowed to breathe on. Uh, the only yeah. way I'll see one of these is if I'm pumping gas in it. It doesn't even take gas. I'll just be filling it with gasoline and lighting it on fire because I'm jealous of it. Uh, put it in a microwave. It lights up like a CD. Um, <laughs> step one, get a Tesla. Step two, find a big-ass microwave. <laughs> one, of them is not, uh, one of those is the price of the Tesla Model S. Don't pick it. Uh, pick all the other ones, and then you'll get gas money to spend on gas for your home. I <laughs> oh, okay. Gas via Taco Bell. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you find all four, you get $1,000. You can stop at any time. Go ahead and pick a price. Okay, let's start with $75,200. $75,200? Hey, there's 400 bucks in electric money. Okay, let's go 71800 71800 $300 in, in electric money. $85,300. 85300 There's $200 in electric money. 82100 right, so Okay, he's going, he's going for it. $82,100. That's a win! Yeah! 79900 is the price of the car because I didn't put in the CD player. <laughs> $2,310 is what Chris has right now. And we're only three rounds away from ending this. All right, let's see what you got. Spin off! Oh, shit. Have you seen Spin Off Cribs? I have, yeah. In, I in saw the gauntlet? It. No, I haven't seen it in the gauntlet, no. Ah, well. This will be new for both Steve, of us you're... then. Uh, Steve, would you like to play our challenge? I should put that. It's like Yahtzee. More dice? Screw that, I challenge. All right, it's a duel. It's so epic for something that needs not to be epic. Oh, this is your fucking ass, bro. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I have devised rules on how to do this in uh, Google Hangouts, uh, which kind of removes most of you from the situation, which is nice. Um, so, uh, the way that this will work is, uh, Steve, I will start with you. Okay. Um, I will give you a topic to speak, and you must speak for 60 seconds, uh, on that topic without hesitating, uh, without hesitation, repetition, or deviation. Dear Lord. So, you cannot repeat words that you've said before, 
except for the words that are in the category, and tiny words like a and and the. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, you cannot um, hesitate like I just did. You can't go mm, ah, uh, er, or take a little too long. Uh, and you cannot deviate from the topic at hand, and I will be the judge on if you're deviating. Um, you'll have to just talk. Anytime you make one of those mistakes and I catch it, and I am good at catching it, uh, <laughs> you will be buzzed and your opponent will get a point. Your opponent will then take the, take over the topic for the remaining uh, allotment of time. Whoever is speaking when the whistle goes will earn a bonus point, and whoever has the most points wins the game. Okay, Does just just so we have a, a moment. Uh, right now on yeah. my screen, I have uh, Chris's chuckling face. So has that changed, or am I just in super lag mode? <clears throat> I'll let Chris answer that for you. There we go. We're good. Thank Got you. Got it? Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is really mostly dependent on my lag, and you guys seem to be okay on my end. So we should be fine here, I hope. Um... <laughs> So, uh, Steve, you're going to start because you are... Uh... No, actually, Chris is going to start. I'm sorry. Chris? No, wait. I challenged. Yeah. He challenged. Steve yeah. is going to start. Steve is the challenger. Steve will go first. Steve, you will talk for just a minute on the topic of the average man. The average man. Okay, can I start whenever? Second. Okay. I, I, will, I will start the clock. Uh, on the count of three. So your 60 seconds start. One, two, three. The average man is a, a wonderful species. Of course, he's completely different from the average woman. The average man is big and burly and tough. He likes lumberjacks, wearing flannel, swinging an axe around. No, that's of course not true. I'm stopping you because... Yeah, you hit a bit of lag there, so... Um, I'm just stopping the clock to let to give you uh, a little chance to catch up here. Okay. And yep. Okay. There you go. Uh, no, you haven't you haven't said anything wrong yet that I have heard. Yet. So <laughs> I'm going to yet. So I'm going to give you uh, the time. Uh, you still have 45 seconds to talk on the average man, starting now. No, of course none of that is true. The average man is a, a schlub. He's completely out of shape. He's fat. He's... I don't realize why I've buzzed you. Okay, good, because neither did I. Yeah, my finger slipped. Uh, so, no points. Chris, how you doing? I'm good, just hanging out. Cool, all right. <laughs> um, Steve, you have 38 seconds. Time starts again now. He likes football and porno and books about war. The average man has a, a nice house with a nice hardwood floor. There it is. <laughs> you, you said nice one too many times. Oh, all right. Yeah, I was also starting to quote, he's an asshole by Dennis Leary. Ah, well, it would have been good if he didn't repeat nice so many times. Yeah. Uh, so, Chris, you get a point? There it is. Uh, and you have 30 seconds to talk about the average man starting now. You know, there seems to be a lot of talk these days about what constitutes the average man. Venture onto any of several social media websites, and you'll see a number of posts dedicated to cutting down that idea of the average man. Is the average man masochistic? Is he... Nah, that's a bit of hesitation, my friend. Uh, a bit of hesitation. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a smidge. So, Steve, you get a point. Uh, you have 14 seconds to talk about the average man starting now. Now, if you do venture on these social media websites, you'll often run into what are called men's rights activists. These very, very strange men who decide that all of a sudden males are being oppressed all over the world. I don't think you're talking about the average man anymore. That's a fair point. Ooh. I'm I'm pretty sure you're you're just you're talking about a terrible part of the internet of which the average am. man would probably say that's silly and will stop me from getting punani. So <laughs> with that in mind, uh, Chris, I'm gonna give you a point for that deviation. You have three seconds. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> 
Time starts now. The average man loves cheap food, free movies, and enormous tits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done, sir. Uh, a point for talking when the whistle blows, and Cribs, you're the winner. All right, good job. Thank you. That was fun. That was fun. You were yeah. very good at that. that. So much better live. However, <laughs> Chris, you're at $3,310. You say it like it makes a difference. <laughs> hey, there's three rounds left. You could bring it home. Plenty. Oh, yeah, that is true. That's true. Okay. Yeah, you've got plenty of time. Of course, Chris. we both have plenty of time to keep running up the score and make Corey pay even more money. <laughs> That's true. Let's just do as, as excellent as we can. Let's break records. Fine by me. All right. We're playing Call My Bluff. Are you ready, Crib? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. The word is... Gammon. Gammon. What does that mean? Does it mean A, street urchin or ragamuffin? <laughs> B, the urge to marry someone? Or C, the tip of the uvula? Ah, okay. Let's, um... Uh, let's see the urge to get married. You're saying, do, do you have the urge to get married? I'm feel, I'm feeling a gammon coming on. I'm feeling a gammon. It, it may I also be the place so so I just inhale before I play this game, but. <laughs> is it? Does it taste like lemon or does it taste like Liz? All right, I'm going to explain what Liz Lemon is. First of all, it has Tina Fey on it. And it's Good. lemon, lemon Greek frozen yogurt with a blueberry lavender swirl. That, that sounds, sounds delicious. delicioso. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's amazing. So you're saying the urge to marry someone. Yes. Lock it in? Lock it in. Something you would never actually hear on Call My Bluff. Ever. Yeah, lock it in. <laughs> it's worth what? All right. Uh, is the <laughs> correct answer the urge to marry someone? No. Is it a street urchin? It is. It's a street urchin. A street urchin, a okay. Street. Or a ragamuffin. <laughs> or a ragamuffin. Uh, as I like to, as I like to call the baker you're from. The raggiest of muffins. <laughs> Chris, you're still at 3310. It's a close one. Hey, Steve! Ah, oh, it's not uh, a of you! Son of a bitch. <laughs> I only... love the Steve Harvey montage. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the, the logo. That's really all you need. Yep. Yep. We don't even need to play the game. Just like give me five hundred bucks and we can move on. <laughs> and just watch right, the family. montage. Just watch the montage of Steve Harvey. Uh, hi. Okay, let's play the feud. Hundred people survey. Top five answers on the board. Each answer you get right, you get two hundred dollars. Get all five, you get a thousand dollars. If you get an answer wrong, you get a strike, three strikes, and the game is over. Are you ready? Yep. We asked one, <laughs> we asked 100 men, name something that rises when it gets hot. Bread. Show me bread. There's some bread and $200 of bread. I don't think I'm using that slang right. You've got four answers left. Uh, the sun. Show me... The sun. No, first strike. Oh, uh, let's go with the obvious, I guess. Temperature. Show me temperature. Number right. one answer. Something that rises when it gets when hot. It gets hot. Yes. Yes. One. Blood minutes. pressure. I, I got nothing. Show me blood pressure. No, second strike, one more strike, and the game is over. Uh, Cribs, you do not get a chance to steal. I'm sorry. It rises. I'm okay with this. Um, uh, like a... I don't know, a plant? Like a tree? A, a tree. Show me a tree. I fucking hate family feud. <laughs> fucking hate this game. Uh, number three was steam or water. Number four was a balloon. balloon. And number five... <laughs> send your peepers. Yeah, 
Uh huh. <laughs> he always rises when it gets hot. It's true. It's getting <laughs> hot in here. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> you got four hundred dollars in the bank. Fifty-four fifty is in your thingy. That's fifty-four dollars and fifty cents to the fucking doctor. Um, Chris. Yo. To the fucking doctor. Oh, sounds like Karcha! Right. Uh, your luck is would help a lot here. Let's have some good luck here. Let's do it. Cribs, your first card is an ace. Ace oh, is high, deuce yeah. is low. Let's uh, go. Is the next lower. card lower or lower? Lower. It's the lowest. It's, an ace. it's a five. All right, let's go higher. Higher than a five, it's a jack. Let's go lower. Lower than a jack, it's a three. Let's go higher. Higher than a three is a jack! You got a thousand dollars! Nothing I can do about that. <laughs> if you look really closely, this ki- this board kind of looks like the flag of India. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> it's right, 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 after, right after go, it's Maharaja Karchar. <laughs> <laughs> Next on Al Jazeera. Uh, you're at 43.10. So... It's close. Steve! How about Ask America? Fucking subjective. Yeah, fuck this people nonsense. I'm a robot. Uh, I don't deal well with emotions. (laughs) I I do not compute emotions. Uh, Okay, here we go. Let's um, find the question. Here we go. Divorcees in their 30s said they had the biggest weakness for which type of guy? The life of the party? The rebel? Or the smooth talker? Oish. Divorces in their 30s. Probably not life of the party, because that's why they got married in the first place and then divorced. Yeah. I'm going to go with... Fuck a... your life decisions. <laughs> I'm going to say smooth talker. You're going to say smooth talker. Survey says! That's the wrong show. Smooth Talker! Oh, alright. Well done. Very good. 43% of divorcees in their 30s wanted the Smooth Talker. 38% wanted the Rebel, and 12% wanted the life of the party. Told you. No one said rich guy, which I thought was the answer. I know, right? Cribs, you could still come back. It's not outside of the realm of possibility. Uh, This game won't help them. Yeah, no, this... Still okay. a chance. Uh, perfection is the game. 45 seconds to tell me true or false with these statements. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Time starts now. Just kidding. Time starts now. Just kidding. Time starts now. <laughs> the real Captain Morgan became the Lieutenant Governor of Jamaica. True. Charlie Brown's father is a barber. False. The same man had a hand inventing Pop Rocks and Tang. True. Koalas drink three gallons of water a day. Uh, false. Got it. Nailed okay. it. All right. So, um, you have $1,000 in your bank. The only way to get that $1,000 is to achieve perfection, which means all four of those is right. However, you may change any of those answers at the cost of $200 a change. Would you like to change any answer, sir? Uh, I don't know why I seem to remember seeing something about about Charlie Brown's father, but I, I don't remember uh, what he did. Nah, just leave. We'll, we'll leave it. All right. So, the real Captain Morgan became the Lieutenant Governor of Jamaica. You said that's true. The correct answer is true. He did. A lot of mercy. You had uh, questions about B, so we'll skip it. The same man had a hand inventing Pop Rocks and Tang. You said it was true. Correct answer is true. I would have more information, but I forgot to write it down in my notes. Koalas <laughs> drink three gallons of water a day. You said that was false. The correct answer is false. They don't drink any water. They get it all from the eucalyptus that they eat. Huh. Yeah. Charlie, Charlie Brown's father is a barber. You said that's false. If that's false, you win $1,000. Survey says... Wait. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. 
That's the the irony is had the bald child with the, the barber father. Oh, that's <laughs> clever. Funny. Clever oh, that 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 uh, <laughs> Schulz man, Charles Schulz. I'm uh, so proud of my man. I'm proud that's of your good. Quality that's a good job. Man. Otherwise, yeah, that was good. That was good. I'm proud of you. You're captain of the football team. Steve, it's not like classic oh, concentration. Jealous. You have around um. Are we doing the car game? Around? Hells yeah. Yes, you know how this love works. The, I love numbers. the car game. You love the car game. Fantastic. Be ready, 40 be ready seconds. Be quick. Fuck. All right. You'll get a few seconds for lag and my fat, stupid fingers. Uh, time starts now. One and two. Not a match. Three and four. Not a match. Five and six. Not a match. Seven and eight. Not a match. Two and seven. There's one. Nine and ten. Not a match. Six and ten. Nope. Three and ten. Yep. Six and eight. Nope. Nine and eleven. Nope. Uh, one and nine. Twelve and thirteen. Five and twelve. Uh, fourteen, fifteen. Six fourteen. Uh, eight fifteen. Ah, and it's four and eleven. Ah, uh, yeah, it is four and eleven. Very, very close, sir. Oh, man. So, uh, you got one. Oh, help Romeo too. Ah, uh, six six matches is six hundred dollars. You had six thousand nine hundred fifty dollars. But now it's time for box twenty three. Well, Chris, Chris, I have some good news for you. The cat is now in the room. Oh, awesome! That's, yeah, that's not a euphemism, oh. euphemism or anything. He's actually right down here. <laughs> you can hear it. So here's how this works. Inside box 23 is one of five different values. Uh, it could say uh, double your money. It could say add... I think it's $5,000. It could say money back. It could say half your money, or it could say nothing. So what you'll do is, uh, if you want to try box 23, uh, you give me back all your money, and then we'll open up box 23. Uh, Steve, you're in first place. Would you like to buy box 23 for $6,950? I am going to pass. Cribs, let's just lay all the possibilities here. Alright. If you open up box 23, there could be a double in which you would win uh, $8,620. It's $86.20 to Doctors Without Borders. Fuck. Uh, you could get $5,000 extra, dollars, which would be even more. You'd be $93.10. That's 100 bucks. You could just... There's a, there's a two... There's a two in five chance of winning the game. Yeah. Let's okay. put it that way. And Chris, let's look at it this way. No matter what, we've got Corey paying at least seventy bucks. That's exciting. Yes. And Very that's true for America. America. And you know what? Because everyone else is doing charity nonsense, and I don't believe in charity nonsense. I believe in game shows for charity nonsense. <laughs> I will combine your scores and donate that to Doctors Without Borders. What? Look at you, So go. now, awesome. you're up to, at the very least, $100. At the very least, $70. But it could be far more. So, Chris, the decision is in your hands. Would you like to buy Box 23? Yes. Bum, bum, bum. Cribs, you're putting me at great financial risk. <laughs> <laughs> If I had a nickel for every time. <laughs> Inside the box is one of two things. One of five, five things. Two of those things will involve me paying exorbitant funds to help people who are dying of Ebola and people in Libya who are getting shot out of hell. And I guess the Palestinians are getting help too. I don't know. I haven't checked their website lately. But they're doing a lot of help. So whatever's in here, I thank you both for playing. 
I thank Robert Seidelman for nominating me for some kind of charity challenge and for graciously denying me dumping water on myself. I'm putting slightly more effort into this. And I thank both of you, Chris and Steve, for helping me out in doing this. Are you ready, Cribs? The screen went away, but yes, I'm ready. I'll yell in pain if it's good. Okay, good. I'm opening up box 23, and inside box 23 is... Oh, the music just starts up again. Okay. Inside box 23... I can't look. Double your oh. money! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Game Why well played, I, sir. Why did I say so many words about donating that this live? Fuck. <laughs> and now Corey will be a deer and switch his screen while he goes to the website and donates right now. Like, uh, I'll do that off here because I have to type in credit card info. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm do that. So that's, uh, what about 150 there? You know what, Corey? Thank you so much for yeah. putting this on. I will pay my share. I will donate my share. Oh, well, I, oh, well that's the fantastic. 69.50 to Doctors Without Borders from... I just, I'm glad someone just tuned in and has just seen the ending. <laughs> You've wasted your time. Oh, uh, man, tough break. You're an asshole. Thanks for showing up late. But I didn't tell anyone this was happening, so... So, at the very... Well, let me do the math real quick. Because I'm going, I said I was going to pay that, so I'm going to pay that. Uh, let's see, 69. Oh, that's a five. 69. Yeah, 155.70. Plus 86. 20. $155.70. I will donate to Doctors Without Borders. And Steve will graciously donate 69.50. So I'll add that here. So, oh, no, I was gonna I was gonna do it in place of you donating the sixty nine fifty, but if you wanna do it in addition, we can totally do that too. Let's do it in addition. I have no problem with that. Cool. There you go. Ebola. Mazel tov to you. There you go. There you go. And I and will Chris... go six twenty to something when I don't have a U Haul to pick up. Yeah, no, you you get <laughs> you know, I'll I'll take a screenshot. There we go. And uh, we will we will pay this to. Oh, I should we should not wait. Can we? Okay, question. Yeah. I did this in lieu of the ice bucket challenge. Right. So does this mean I get to nominate people now for the ice bucket challenge? On one condition. What? That the person or people you nominate are not currently in this Google Hangout. Of course, no, I wouldn't. No, you two already did this. Um. Well, shit. Okay. What Let's if you nominate, nominate people for really ancient people to play the gauntlet? Yeah, yeah, instead of doing the stupid ice bucket challenge, which you already said you don't like, nominate people, like, challenge them to play the gauntlet. Nominate, like, fucking Mark. And somebody. Okay, you know what? Fine. I, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I will nominate Ben Ingram, who said he wants to play uh, Game Show Gauntlet anyway. Who's a what a fifty day champion or something like that? I don't know. He won a yeah, bunch of shit yeah. on Jeopardy. Uh, ben Ingram and Mark Labette. I challenge you two to come on the gauntlet, and whatever you win, we'll put a decimal point in the middle, and you have to donate that to the charity of your choice. And Mark, I double challenge you to beat my score on the chase. Yes, if if the chase comes up. If the chase comes up and Mark does it, if he can beat the 11 that I got, because you gave me the one-step head start, yep. let me know. I'll donate an additional 50 bucks. Oh, shit. Make it rain, make it... Well, yep. I again, put my money wearing pants. My I could have made it rain. <laughs> and your mouth is about to head back to chat roulette. Um, it, well, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I nominate... I have a funny offline story about Chat Roulette, by the way. Oh, God, I can't wait to hear this. So, Mark Levette and Ben Ingram, I'm challenging you to play Game Show Gauntlet next for charity. Bring it, bitches. I'm and, Mark, I am challenging you to beat me at something. <laughs> oh! Oh, so much shit talk! All right, so... 
Thank you. The music's way over, so I, I'm going to just shut this down and then share it with the world. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here, uh, here thank in you. this ephemeral realm. <laughs> and, uh, thank you guys, and uh, we will see you next time on the Game Show Gauntlet. Deuces. <laughs>